thesis comes to life as a performance instrument. First of all, you can start and stop thesis either with your host or with any MIDI note input, including notes played on your external MIDI keyboard controller. The trigger mode switch gives you three triggering possibilities. Host will start and stop thesis with your host application clock. So when I start the logic sequencer here, thesis will also start playing. Note toggle starts thesis when you play a note and then stops it when you play another note. With note on, thesis will run only as long as you hold a note on your MIDI controller. As soon as you release, the thesis sequencer engine stops. Trigger by lets you choose between starting and stopping thesis using pitch keys or pattern keys. Set this to pitch keys for transposing your sequences, for example. The pattern keys setting lets you change patterns so you can jump to different song parts on the fly. Remember that the trigger by and trigger mode settings only relate to starting and stopping the thesis sequencer engine. Regardless of these settings, you can use the Pitch Transposition, Pattern Select, and Action Section keys for real-time performance. For example, even though I am in host mode, I can change patterns, transpose, and apply an action. In addition, you can start Thesis by just clicking on the Play button. To make sure Thesis keeps playing uninterrupted when using MIDI input, the trigger mode should be set to Host. If you need further information, don't forget to check the manual. You can open it by clicking right here. Hopefully, you now have a taste of some of the creative performance possibilities that Thesis gives you. Now go and make some music.